Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we're back with some more space news. Uh, I wasn't expecting to do something so soon because usually there's a, not a whole lot going on that's big news. But um, today, NASA launched the Perseverance uh, rover that's headed to Mars, uh, which I think is I think is kind of cool. It's kind of like the uh, the Curiosity rover that, that that's still there. Yeah, it's still there. It's basically almost the same same type, same body style. Anyways, it's just bigger and massive. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's bigger. I don't know if it's bigger enough. It, it is. It has it's the biggest rover they made. But it has some newer instruments, a lot more cameras on that. They they put cam cameras on the uh, so they can watch the parachutes and the sky crane above and the ground below as it as it preparing to land on Mars. That's going to be supposed to be in like really high resolution color instead of. Last time the video wasn't that. They didn't really have that much video from when the landed landed and the, you know landed. Um, so this should be pretty cool to see that you know, when they when they you know release that video. Um, I'm not sure. I, I think they also have high resolution video that's going to be on the rover. Yeah. So they can take better color fo photos and videos compared to the last one, which I, I find interesting. I know the experiments are cool, but. So we'll see another planet, you know, in high resolution or high def, whatever you want to call it, in color. Mm. I think that that's pretty amazing. Um, I think that the, the cameras have upgraded from what they had before. And, and also there was a, a microphone off to what they're going to be listening for. I mean, I'm sure there's no sound on Mars. Maybe the sound of unless, unless, like, the people on Earth, um, you know, may... Maybe the reason there's a microphone is maybe the robot has commands on it now. Maybe, maybe they had some sort of command. So, like, if one of the, I don't know, NASA people tell the robot to do something, it will do it or something. I have no idea. Maybe that's why. Or... Well, no, they have, they have a way of doing it through software. They, they pro, do programming. Tell, they, that's how it tells the robot what to do. Although this one, they said, is more self-reliant like it doesn't necessarily need NASA to tell which direction to go it kind of knows what to do when it gets there yeah um, I thought it was kind of cool to get this supposed to get some samples of various rocks and they're gonna uh, by the year 2031 they're supposed to send a, some kind of a landed there with a rocket and, coming up on two and, and they're going to put the samples on the rocket and have it launched back to Earth so they'll have Mars samples by 2031 which I think would be pretty rocky yeah. they're supposed to be the rocket's going to be tiny it can be like two, th two or three feet tall I mean it's really not going to be that big just enough to yeah. we'll put these samples in the, and, and send it back to back to Earth and it's supposed to land in U Utah they said that's in, but that's not for another you know, 11 years, you know, yeah. 10, 10, 11 years from now. It'd be pretty amazing if they, if they could do it. Um, I also think it's another big step for NASA as well, obviously, because, you know, we're just not even that, we're a few years away from sending the very first ever human um, humans to Mars by 2025. Um through NASA at least, but according to SpaceX, they're supposed to start sending humans up by like twenty twenty three. Yeah, that would be amazing if if, if Elon, Elon Musk yeah, if he can pull that off. I mean, that's I, never I, been I, done. I can't imagine being one of these people. You'd be the first people to land on Mars. Like, like you must have to sign a contract. Like you might be stuck there, and you will probably die there because they they might not be a way to return back to Earth if you once you go there. Um, well, let's see how far technology goes in the next five years. Yeah. Five years of space technology and, and propulsion and ships launching from other planets, it's, it's really not really, I don't know what the word is, it's, not, it's never been done before. So for something, The something, only time it's ever been done was on the moon, which was back. That's true, but it's like, but that's, I don't know if that's because it's closer, but... I don't know if they it will get off the planet of Mars and then travel all the way back to Earth. I mean, it's different lineup, just right. So, just like this rover is launched today, you know, we're in July and it's not going to get there till February of 2021. So it takes like six, seven months to get there. However, NASA's building um, a new rocket called the SLS rocket, and supposedly it cuts the time to get to Mars. So instead of waiting a whole year to go. It only takes about six months to get there with the new rocket that they're building, which I think if 
if they can get humans to Mars with that rocket and get there by six months, I think that would be very cool to pull off because, like I said, it has never been done before. I don't know what they're going to do once they get them and they'd have to build housing. There's no... Just, I mean, There's supposed to... I don't know how that's going to... Where are they going to send, like, the, tools up there? The, the, the temperature difference... Of a, it's it's warmer during the day and colder than it is here at night. So the temperature varies. As, I mean, like, to be... The temperature, a good temperature there is at probably, like, you know, minus, you know, 40 can, degrees. Can you even breathe on Mars? No, there's an oxygen. You, you, you wouldn't last very long because the oxygen level is so low because there's so much carbon dioxide in the air. I mean, you would have to wear a special thing. Like, kind of like, I would think, of like, you know, but going underwater, like having oxygen max, it, that you wouldn't be able to breathe on the surface of Mars. It's, I don't know if you could even go there without, like, a space outfit on or whatever it's like um if anyone has seen the movie the martian with um matt damon in it it's basically sort of like that like if you look at what he wears in the movie i mean i'm sure that's what they would have to wear in real life but yeah who knows it's probably different but. you know we'll set to see where we go you know five ten years from now all these companies keep saying they, they can get to the, get to mars and get people there, but there's, there's a lot of logistics and and to worry about, I mean, just people's health, you know, be, be getting me- sending medicine with these people, be able to live on Mars. There's no food or really. I mean, as far as there's ice under the under the grass, as far well as they can make, they can get water from that. Is I don't know how much water they can get. I, I don't know, but we can still find information out about this. But it's going to be interesting when this new rover gets there and what kind of information it sends back, the pictures and videos it sends. Yeah. Back. Um, it's supposed to be searching for if there was life ever on Mars uh, so I'm really interested to see if anything would ever live yeah. there um, yeah so I think that, anything else to add? no I think, I think, think, I think that's going to do it just, we just thought this was pretty interesting really cool that another rover is going to Mars and what, and what it's going there for and to see where things are going to end up in the future with, with, as far as Mars is concerned um, so I think we're going to wrap this one up uh, if you guys have any thoughts, comments, or are pretty excited about this story, put it on down below. And as always, hit that like and subscribe. Till next time.